Good morning. If this is your first visit to Stonebridge Church, we're glad that you're here. At Stonebridge, our desire is to lead people into a real, healthy, and growing relationship with Jesus Christ. We lean on five core values to lead us in everything we do. Being real or creating a safe environment where you can come as you are is our first core value. Our guest services center at the main entrance can point you in the right direction to start off your day. This center features information on various classes, special events, and opportunities to come, connect, and make a difference at Stonebridge. Our nursery classrooms are located on the first floor of the main building. Preschool and first through fourth grade students meet in our Stoneshire Children's Building adjacent to our main building. The Gap, our fifth and sixth grade program, meets upstairs in the lodge, located in the main building. Junior high and high school students gather at the bridge, the youth building located across the parking lot. Check out our information center for locations and times for our adult classes. So I hear they'll be serving some grub for extra money at this old country thing. Grub like barbecue, and maybe some beans and stuff like that. Well, back in my day, we called a grub a grub. You know them little white caterpillar things under a rock? You didn't pay nothing extra. You just picked up that old rock, caught you one, and we liked it. For more info, visit GoStoneBridge.com slash Old Country. Serving others by living outside of ourselves, identifying needs and acting to meet them is another core value. Our women's ministry continues to grow with more and more women than ever before participating in ladies' Bible studies and special events. Sarah Ridgway has recently joined the Stonebridge team in the role of Women's Ministry Director. As the new Director of Women's Ministry, I, I want to continue in the tradition that Stonebridge, in my opinion, has always had, is with drawing in the women and, and helping them to find their place, getting them plugged into the Word, plugged into uh, friendships. And I'd like to continue that on and take it even to a, a new level, continue doing the things that uh, Stonebridge has always been great at, but then adding in some things that I've learned along the way in my own experience and, and adding those to what we're currently doing. Challenging one another to apply God's Word beyond our local community is the core call to action in practical teachings. Our recent members meeting provided members with a look at the church that stretches far beyond a typical spreadsheet. One of the key things that you may really uh, enjoy hearing and actually uh, want to hear uh, is really where are we headed as a church and we will actually talk about that. We, uh, we, some of it's clearly uh, based on where we've been, but some of it's really the, the questions you ask all the time, like what are we going to do with building out the children's building? Where are we headed with that? Uh, how do we look financially in terms of uh, the money that we spent on the Ask God project? How, we actually are ending that campaign this year, so we are going to take a look at how all that was done and actually it does tell us what's left to do. Our children's ministry is growing, our student ministry is growing, our small groups are growing. All these things require us to continue to grow our environment so people can come and actually uh, have a healthy, growing relationship with Christ. I hear they're having some games in old country. Fun games. Back in my day, we played games, stuff like tug of war. Back then, we didn't have rope just lying around, so we used snakes. And sometimes we got bit, but we liked it. For more info, visit GoStoneBridge.com slash Old Country. That's our five before. Check out our website at GoStoneBridge.com for more information on all of our ministry opportunities. You can find Stonebridge on Facebook, Twitter, and Vimeo too. Thank you for making Stonebridge a part of your day today.